family, I'm sure they find the same things as in Ungai or Gali and make Ugali, but what was the big difference between the actual like taste? Was there any difference in taste and taste? The taste was definitely there. Mm. And I happened to have some interesting people that picked me up. Considering now my husband yeah. being among them, mm -hmm. my first experience was after we landed, we drove to the city where we were going to live. The first store they took me to was McDonald's. Oh, now this is terrible. At McDonald's, the first thing they ask me, what do you want mm -hmm. to eat? I hey, look at the hey, menu board, hey, I'm hey. confused. Hey, I had not even had seen, a burger. You've never seen a yes. burger in your life. And guess what? You because I able. didn't know, mm -hmm. they order for me. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't imagine what they ordered. A what? Big Mac. Mm -hmm. Now the Big Mac, you hold it and the bread in the middle slides out. <laughs> And they were all laughing. They just had a good time with my experience. Oh and I'm to say the least, <laughs> I barely ate the food because, because it yeah. was it was quite. I mean, the food tasted different. It was awkward. It was weird. And we also drove through the drive-thru. Uh -huh. Like, ordering. why are we talking to a pole? And why are we eating in the car? Yes. So weird. It was strange. I know, and that's the American lifestyle. So the Big Mac is two slices of bread, and then in the middle there's what? Meat, lettuce, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, tomatoes. nini. Yani, it's and not any sauce. And a gooey sauce. sauce. There was some sauce. Straight yeah, from Kenya. Yeah, yeah. Straight from America. You haven't even gone home yet. You may put your drive through. Drive through. And the bag is this big. You're like, do I buy it here? But oh. I'm a, you're, yes. you're supposed to buy the whole thing. You're like, how now? Uh, no, because I can imagine them laughing at you. I wonder if that was a setup to laugh. Ah, I think that is what they did to oh all Kenyans. God. Yeah, it uh, was their, their joy. Wow. Yeah. So from McDonald's, you guys went straight home. Yes. Um, my story is, I remember when I was flying because my mom was receiving me on the other end. I had told her, she had told me how long the flight is. Yes. And I was like, all I want when I, I get there, please, I'm requesting you take the biggest sufuria you have, mm -hmm. boil some water, so kikuja ni Oh, you didn't know there was hot, hot water on all showers. <laughs> oh, that's I was funny. like, I want to take a hot bath, so please yeah. boil a lot of water so I can take a shower. So I get in, and she's like, yeah, this is the bathroom. You know, like, when you're used to certain lifestyle, you think yes. everybody just knows that. Yes, true. So she's like, oh yeah, this is the bathroom, you do, 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 whatever. I'm like, uh, mom, hot water. What's up? It's my, oh yeah, just do this. So she turns the water to the left and there's hot water. And I'm like, Yenny, I was so excited to see a bathtub. I was like, wow. So I can sit in here and take a bath. Yes. But anyway, I, 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 it's, it's, I think everybody can relate to certain things, especially if you're not exposed to that. I Very think true. majority of us are not. So you take a bath. I mean, you, 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 you get in uh, from McDonald's, now they drive you home. How was, uh, what was, what happened after that? Well, we went to the person, no, my husband now, yes. who we were not married to at the time, mm -hmm. definitely could not live with me. We were just, I had just landed. We didn't oh. even, we were not friends yet. We were just, just acquaintances. We had just Right, friends. to show you around. Yeah, and everything. To just mm -hmm. let me know where they Oh, so you were not living with him? No, I didn't go to live with him. Oh. He found another lady. Oh. And that is something I found out when I landed. Oh. He was like, well, you know, we can't live. Yeah. You can, you can come and live with me. I am a single guy. Yes. So to me, I was like, okay, hey, this is a good guy. Yes. He doesn't wow. want us to. So we are good. Wow. Yes. What and a so, character. Yeah. They didn't and want to take it because you could easily take advantage of someone there. It's like, you just came, you have nowhere to live. Yes. You're going to come straight with me. Yeah. We're gonna be married whether you like it or not, you know, depending, I guess, with the person. But wow, so she, he had found to be more comfortable for himself and for you. Yes. Found a lady you can, you can live with. Yes. Wow. And the lady was so gracious. She didn't know me from nowhere. And she lived with me. She she showed me around. She showed me around. She was, her name is Grace, and I would like to give her a shout out. Wow. Because she was, she held my hand mm. everywhere I needed to go. She told me, this is where you buy this. This is what you do here. This is the culture here when somebody says this. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we ignore even our language. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll go there, you'll repeat some words you've had here. Mm -hmm. But there, they are curse words. Mm -hmm. 
you come from there, you come here, some words you say they are not well accepted in the society. Yeah, true. So she sat down with me and explained to me, this is what happens. Wow. And I am, I am forever grateful for her. Wow, yeah. Grace, big up to you. May God bless you. You know, yes. people who have, there's some people out there who have good hearts. There are people who, you're very lucky because there are people who have horror stories of the people that actually invited them that have mistreated them. Yes. Um, so you were so lucky. So you lived with her for how long before you got onto your own feet? Now, Grace lived in Delaware. Mm -hmm. Then from Delaware, we had to move. The school that had invited me uh, since I had gone as an F1 student was in Maryland. So from Baltimore at the airport, we drove to Delaware. From Delaware, we came to Maryland. Mm -hmm. Now, the town and the location of where the school that I was going to attend was, there were very, very few Kenyans. Mm -hmm. I don't even think there were more than 15 Kenyans. Wow. It was just young men few. So Delaware was our closest state, mm -hmm. and that's how come I went to stay with Grace. Mm -hmm. So when school was almost opening, oh, okay. school, got it. Yes. Okay. so I had left here in July, and school opens there in September, right after Liberty. Day. So Grace was able to drive me down to the school, mm -hmm. made sure we found an apartment for me, and by that time I had known the ins and outs, mm -hmm. opened a bank account, you yeah. know where to go shopping mm -hmm. and I just transitioned and now my husband also went to the same university mm -hmm. that I was to attend. Mm -hmm. So now we were more closer mm -hmm. to where we were together mm -hmm. and he was able to show me now the ins and outs of school. So it was much easier. I have my own place. He has his own place. Mm -hmm. We are still in the same just school but just Yes, learning each other just as a friend, just somebody to you know show you around, hold your hand. Exactly. Wow. All right. So, so how was your school? My school was um, fantastic. Now, considering I met my husband there, mm -hmm. he's the one who picked me up. So we went to school together, and uh, I arrived there 2003, 2005. We got married, mm -hmm. and uh, we both completed our graduate school in the US and we started our own company mm -hmm. and we just became self-employed. So you, you started your own company in the US? What, yes. What were, you do, what were you guys doing? Well, we had a lawn irrigation business. Mm -hmm. So what we used to do, we used to go to residential homes mm -hmm. and install sprinkler systems. Now here in Kenya, you have a lot of sprinkler systems in the farms. Mm -hmm. There they have them in the lawns, in their yards, mm -hmm. in, the, in okay. their residential homes. Yeah. So we did that for courses and for schools, mm -hmm. for little league, play ball, mm -hmm. soccer ball, mm -hmm. uh, fields. So that's what we did. Wow. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. And so you have, you, you, from a very young age, sounds like you, you have ever been employed? Because it sounds like you've always been just an entrepreneur and doing it for yourself. Well, I was employed. Mm -hmm. And I was employed, funny enough, mm -hmm. at a McDonald's. Okay. That was my first job yeah. as a cashier. Mm -hmm. now, that was interesting because I didn't put the money. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> from McDonald's, I worked for Chick-fil-A. Wow. So I worked there trying to get a scholarship. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Chick-fil-A job, I, was, I did it for only a few months. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped working there. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I stopped working there, Somebody miraculously gave me a job, offered me a job at a PNC Bank, okay. which I worked for close to 10 years. Wow, wow, yes. that's amazing. So the story so far is you land, your husband, who is you don't know at this point, it's just a guy that's supposed to host you, tells you to be comfortable, uh, he finds you a lady to, 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 to host you, and then... Um, you happen to end up going to the same school and your friendship grew from there, you started dating and then end up marrying each other yes. and starting a company together. Yes. Wow. Yes. How long were you in the US and uh, when did you decide to come back uh, to Kenya and why? I was in the US from 2003 mm -hmm. to 2019. So that's around 16 years. Wow, yeah. And um, I cannot say, I always say, I'm the people who always say, mm -hmm. I'm coming back. I will come back. So you I'll always wanted back. to come back. You had plans to come back home. Yes. Yeah. And I stayed connected mm -hmm. with everybody at home. So I actually did not feel like I was so far away because I kept in touch. Mm -hmm. But um, the decision to come to the woman 19 mm -hmm. January, I told my husband, I said, look, 
2020, January 1, we are going home. And he thought I was joking. He thought you must be out of your mind. Uh -huh. So, because remember, I have grown up as an adult yeah. in the US. Mm -hmm. He's also grown up. He went there when he was 19. Right. So we built all you everything. know is in America and everything is built is in America. He's in America. Yeah. Our kids were born there. Mm -hmm. We had a church, a family that really took care of us. Wow. And here we are. We are saying we're going. What I, what brought that feeling of you setting a date and I have to go to Kenya at this particular point. Why? What What was that calling for you? What was making you want to come back? For me, I would say it was a God moment. Mm -hmm. And I give credit to God because if I didn't have faith to actually jump, like Steve Harvey would say, mm -hmm. so many of us are afraid of doing the jump. We live and we do everything else, but we know inside there's something more out there. Mm -hmm but we are afraid to jump. Yeah. That jump, and I usually call it crazy faith, because it, it took crazy faith yeah. to leave everything. We were settled, home, work, business, employees, but something clients, was missing. Something yeah. was missing. Yeah. I just wanted to go back. And at that particular time when we, I was in the US, we did a lot of charity work. Mm -hmm. So also, I felt I want to be hands-on more. Not just send things, but I also want to come in Give myself my time, everything that I have, I want to be there. Wow. So it took it took a lot of faith. That's amazing. Yes. So that's what we call faith with action. Wow. Yes. And so how was your transition from now when before that, just quickly, did you used to visit for, for from 2003 to 2016? At 2019, before you moved back, did you used to move to, to visit between uh, in those times? No, oh. I never used to visit. Wow! So you packed up your stuff and just left. what did you think? You, did you think life is exactly how you left it as a teenager? No, mm -hmm. and let me tell you why I didn't think it was the same. Mm -hmm. It's because one, I stayed so connected to what was happening okay. in Kenya. Yeah. I almost could tell you everything that is happening in the news mm -hmm. because I watched. Okay. Yeah. I kept in touch with my siblings, okay. my family. Yeah. When WhatsApp and them days it was Skype, mm -hmm. we would there's no week uh -huh. we would not Skype. Okay. So they would show me the cities, they would show me around. Yeah. Now there's that feel, the touch, yes. that you, mm -hmm. the disconnect. Mm -hmm. But I was always somehow yeah, connected. connected. But that's very important. Yes. It, it, it's not as a shocker because can you imagine if you were away for more than almost two decades? And then you just moved back. Yes. Like, you know, like with no knowledge of you don't have connections. Maybe you lost your contact with your friends, or you, you really don't know what's happening in the country. Maybe it would have been a, a, a much more difficult uh, transition. So when you moved back, did you have a plan of like what you want to come to do here? Uh, maybe like a matter of like providing for your family and stuff like that. And how has the journey been? To, to where you are today. But by the way, when did you move? Oh, you moved back in 2016, so that has been like... 2019. 2019, yes. Okay, so just 20, so about two years? About two years. Oh, okay. Yes. How, how has it been? How has the journey back been? The journey has been excellent mm -hmm. and also has had a lot of downs mm -hmm. because it doesn't matter. There's no perfect country. Yes. So we can't say, oh, I went from Kenya to the US, my life is great. great. Mm -hmm. There is no country in the world everything is just perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, the systems could be different, mm -hmm. how people do things. Yeah. Also, the way the crimes that we find in other countries are not the same ones. Mm -hmm. For example, here in Kenya, I can be worried about potholes. Mm -hmm. But in the US, I'm worried about gunshots mm -hmm. in schools. So, there is no perfect yeah. location. Mm -hmm. So for us, as, as long as our mind and our soul and our everything was to coming back, mm -hmm we knew we didn't have a plan B. Mm -hmm. And our, the, the one thing I have found is, a lot of people come with plan B. And when you come with plan B, you're divided. Yeah. You have one way, if it doesn't work, mm -hmm. I am checking out. Mm -hmm. But that's not how it should be. Because then you're not able to give and weather the storms right. where you have come. Yeah. So for us, it, it just, we transitioned very well. Mm -hmm. First I came, I came 2019 December, mm -hmm. and uh, Miraculously, January 1st, 2020, I was in Kenya and that was a big blessing. Wow. And uh, my husband, as we all know, COVID-19 